Hi everyone, welcome back to Clueless Crafts. Today I'll be making another video on how to make easy clay animals. If you haven't seen the previous one, I make a couple of different sea creatures in that, so if that sounds interesting, I'll leave a link down below for you to watch it later. First animal we'll be making is a little bunny rabbit. Let's start off with rolling a ball of gray clay as well as a smaller ball that we'll use for the head. We'll then take a smaller ball of gray clay and roll it into a log. We'll do the same thing with a little piece of pink clay and we'll put that right along the center of it. We'll push it in and then we'll cut the log in half and those will be the ears. We'll also roll out a very tiny ball of pink clay and shape it into a little triangle for the nose. Next, we'll take another ball of pink clay, a little bit larger, flatten it out, and we'll use it for the bunny's tummy. Then we'll take a small ball of gray clay, roll it out into a log and pinch one end, and we'll use that for the arm, and make another for the other side. And for the feet, just roll out two small balls of clay and place them on the bottom. And we can't forget the little bunny tail on the back. Now I'm just going to make some indents for the eyes. Uh, you could use a sculpting tool or even a bobby pin. And then we'll roll out small balls of black clay to put them. I actually decided I didn't like how the nose looks, so I just took it off and replaced it with a slightly smaller one. Not a big difference, but uh, apparently it mattered to me. I also rolled out very, very thin strips of black clay for the mouth. Uh, this part was pretty tricky, but I find it easier rolling it on a piece of paper as it adds more friction and it doesn't stick so easily. And the bunny's arms just looked empty, so I thought I'd add in a carrot too. And after baking, our little bunny is complete. And next is a sheep. So let's just take a ball of brown clay and roll it out into a fat log. And we're going to take smaller balls of clay and roll them into littler logs for the legs. Littler? Is that a word? And for the head, we're just going to take another ball of clay and slightly roll it between our fingers to give it an elongated face. And now comes the fun part. We're going to take a bunch of little white balls of clay and we're just going to stick them all over the sheep. And you're probably going to need a lot more than you originally thought. And last one. Now let's just give our little guy some ears using a log cut in half. And once again, just make two indents on the face and fill those with little black balls of clay for the eyes. And your sheep is done! Moving on to the duck, let's start with a ball of yellow clay and pinching the end into sort of a teardrop shape and flip it up at the top. Once that's done, take a smaller ball of yellow clay and put that on top as the head. And for our duck's beak, or I guess it's bill, <laughs> we're going to be taking a small ball of orange clay, rolling that out a bit and cutting off one end and using the other for the bill. Moving on to the duck's wings, we're going to take a small ball of clay and pinch one end into a teardrop shape and then just kind of Flip it up so it has a curved tip. Then do the same for the other side. Last thing on the list is to make indents in the head again and use small balls of black clay for the eyes. Then it's ready to bake and you have yourself a duck. And on to our sleepy pig. We're going to take a big ball of pink clay and we're going to flatten out a little bit. Take a smaller ball of clay and use that for the head. And for its snout, just roll out a log and cut out a disc, and you can plop that right on the face. Alright, and for the pig's ears, we're going to be taking a ball of clay, rolling out the ends into two cone shapes, cutting them down the middle, slightly flattening them out, and then putting them on the pig's head. And the legs are just a bunch of fat rolled pink logs that we're going to cut in half flatten the cut end and place them right underneath the body.
For our pig's tail, just roll out a tiny piece of clay, attach it to the end and curl it as best you can. Now comes the tricky part. We're going to be making some sleepy eyes, so we have to roll out very, very thin logs of black clay again, and we'll be very, very carefully placing them on the face. And after baking, our little cutie is done. And last but not least, our little green frog. Start with a ball of green clay and pinch the ends into a diamond shape. Make sure one end is longer than the other. And once you're happy with the shape, you can now move on to the face. So I'm just taking my sculpting knife and drawing a line for the mouth. Then I'm using one of my sculpting tools to create indents for the eye sockets. And now for the legs, I'm sure that you guys can do better than I can, but I tried. Basically take a ball of clay and round it out into a thin log, making sure one end is a lot thinner than the other, and that will be the foot. So we'll cut out a couple of toes for our little froggy friend. Um, uh, remind me to never say that again. <laughs> Now I just place the legs as best I can and I blend it into the back with a sculpting tool. Do the same for the front, but these legs will be a little bit shorter. And if you want, you can add a little bit of color to the belly like I did. And once you add little black balls of clay for the eyes, you're now ready to bake and your little frog is done. Alright, so that's all the animals I have for this video. Let me know down below which one was your favorite. And if you enjoyed watching, be sure to subscribe as I put out new videos like this every week. But if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next, just let me know and I'll be sure to listen. Anyways, hope you guys have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys later. Bye!